Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I don't even know how to start this video. This is the biggest empties video I've ever done for sure. I have so much to get through and I don't want this video to take forever. So I'm just going to pretty much go ahead and get started. I'm putting my hair out of my way so that I can get through this. This right here is my bag of empties. It is completely full. This was supposed to be a 2019 empties video and it still kind of is, but I have added more products during the month of January to it. So now it's just a giant bag of empty products and I can't throw them away until I tell you guys whether or not I like them. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up before you leave. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I will be mentioning some favorite products and I'll link those down below. So if you're interested, go ahead and shop from the links in the description. With all of that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, I have the bag right here in front of me and I'm just going to start picking out products and quickly just telling you how I feel about them because I don't want this video to be so long. I see this first that I wanna pick out. These right here are Hydration Lover Rubber Masks from Dr. Jart. Dr. Jart is one of my favorite skincare brands and one of my favorite things about them is their rubber masks. So this is an absolute favorite. I keep buying it. I have backups of this. This gives me instant hydration. It makes my skin so soft and so plump. I'm pretty obsessed with these sheet masks right here. So these are definitely a must have and one of my favorite products. I also see these three right here. These are makeup removing wipes. I bought them at CVS. They're from a brand called Ariel and they are stress relieving wipes. I don't love wipes, but sometimes you have to use them and I did enjoy these when I used them. They were good for my sensitive skin. I don't think they're a favorite. I could do with or without them. I could get something else instead. I don't know why this is here because I didn't think I was putting my shampoos and conditioners in here, but it somehow made it, so I'll tell you about it. This is the Living Proof full conditioner it is a body boosting weightless conditioner i liked it i didn't love it i bought something else afterwards didn't feel like it just revolutionized my hair in any ways so it was good but it's not a staple for me next i have this right here this is my daily brush cleaner i have had so many of these i have my backup that i'm currently using right here this is a product that i keep purchasing i've tried the cinema secret ones when i used to work at sephora and it's good but it's kind of pricey and this one does the exact same thing and it's 15 bucks and it um, lasts me forever so this is something that you just spray on your dirty brushes and you wipe them off on a paper towel and it gets them clean for like a daily basis use I absolutely am obsessed with this one. It is from Sephora. It is a favorite, so I will make sure to leave you guys a link down below. I have a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist right here. I have not bought any more of these after I finished this one. However, it is a favorite of mine. I absolutely love it. I have setting sprays in my drawers that I'm trying to get through. So I haven't bought any more of my favorite because even though the ones I have are not my favorite, I don't wanna throw them away and waste them. I wanna use them. So this is an absolute favorite of mine and I will repurchase it, but I'm trying to get through other ones first. <laughs> then I have this here. This is my Drunk Elephant Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. It was good, it is good for sensitive skin. It is not my favorite makeup melting cleanser. My favorite is the one from Pharmacy, which is currently in my bathroom. So I love that I got to try this, but it, I like the Pharmacy one better. I found another hair care product. This is the Brio Geo Done Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This one has the Allure's Reader Award. It is a really good deep conditioning mask. I don't necessarily see a need for me personally to use this one because my hair is pretty soft so I don't need a deep conditioning mask in my bathroom at all times so I haven't repurchased it but it is a really good one let's talk about cleansers because clearly I used a lot of them last year I don't even know if these are all I love this right here. This is the Lancome Meal and Mousse Cleanser. It is kind of sticky, which at first I did not like it because it was kind of sticky. But then I just kind of got used to the consistency. It says to like use it dry on your face and then wet your face. I don't do that. I like to have my face wet at first and like mix it with a bit of water in order to use it because I don't like the stickiness of it and once you mix it with water it kind of goes away 
this is an absolute favorite you guys i was just looking at this i have a lot of favorite cleansers so get ready absolutely love this it is a favorite if you have dry skin and also acne this i'm gonna just look at it up close right here you need this in your life because this actually has salicylic acid it helps with acne and it is the most hydrating cleanser ever this is for you i'm talking to you with dry skin and acne <laughs> this stuff amazing this one here is the dr dennis gross alpha beta cleansing gel i don't like it as much uh, it was okay not a favorite then i have these two this one is the ordinary squalene cleanser if you are on a budget and you want a bomb cleanser this one is for you it is my favorite for like if you don't want to spend a lot of money for sure and this is the fresh soy face cleanser also a favorite it is soap free good for sensitive skin um i guess i have three favorite cleansers in fact four because the one i'm currently using that i have on my bathroom is the kale spinach cleanser by youth to the people and i'm obsessed with that one as well so i honestly cannot pick one definitely this one for dry skin with acne this one for if you're on a budget and then between the fresh soy face cleanser and the used to the people one that's in my bathroom i'll link all of that below so you guys can see what i'm talking about i like them the same this one is not foamy the used to the people one is a little more foamy don't make me choose i can't i found another morphe setting spray this right here is the hydra life micellar water by dior i like this but i don't think it's the best micellar water i've ever tried i don't know what that would be actually i don't think i have a favorite one it's okay it's probably pricey because it's dior and it's probably not worth it i have two other makeup melting bombs right here these two are from clinique I like them but I don't love them. My favorite way of taking my makeup off is using a melting balm so I love having products like these but neither these two nor the drunk elephant one is my favorite. My favorite is the pharmacy one so I definitely recommend that you guys try that one because it is bomb. I just find that these leave residue on my face after I rinse them off and the pharmacy one doesn't so that's why I like that one better. I am finding things in here that are not even empty like this is a full beautiful MAC lip liner cuddly micellar cleansing water I think I would rather have this one than the Dior one but it's still nothing super special this is the fresh black tea kombucha facial treatment essence it is an anti-pollution essence I love essences I use them in the morning to wake up my skin this one is a nice one i love that it has the antioxidants in it i don't think it is like a skin changing product but if you can treat yourself to an essence i would and this is a really good one i'm currently still using it i have another one right here then i have a dry shampoo this is the elizabeth and james nirvana white dry shampoo i would say it gets the job done because it does get the job done is it the most spectacular dry shampoo i've ever tried it's not does it smell the best out of all the dry shampoos i've tried yes it does so if you shop for dry shampoos based on the smell i would definitely try the elizabeth and james ones because they smell like perfume so they're amazing in that sense but yeah i liked it okay it just kind of made my my hair a little too white and it was hard to like get it out but other than that it was good <laughs> okay so let's talk about moisturizers I'm gonna dry this, okay? Um, also, I'm pretty sure this is like at least a year and a half worth of moisturization right here. So don't judge me. Let's start by the ordinary one. It is really affordable, but even for how affordable it is, I did not like this one. However, this one right here from Good Molecules, um, it is the Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I will leave you this linked down below because this is the best moisturizer if you guys are on a budget. It is amazing for sensitive skin. It has shea butter in it. It is so hydrating. 
I was so surprised when I tried this. I thought this would be at least a $30 moisturizer and I'm pretty sure it's like dirt cheap. It's like, I wanna say this is very comparable to like the ordinary as far as like pricing is concerned. It is so affordable and this stuff right here, so good. Anyways, this is not an empties. I have used it for like two, three weeks, but I'm trying to finish other stuff I'm using so I can't just incorporate it into my routine but I absolutely loved it so if you're on a budget and you need a bomb moisturizer get good molecules all right so this was the fresh vitamin nectar moisture glow face cream I like this one a lot I'm not gonna say it's my favorite moisturizer I've ever tried but it was really nice for my sensitive skin and it made my skin very radiant so I did like it these two are vitamin C moisturizers. The one on top is the CEO by Sunday Riley. The one at the bottom is the Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Dip Cream. I've gone through at least three of these since it came out and I really love the CEO moisturizer. It is really nice and rich and if you think you need a little bit more brightness in your skin, I definitely recommend it. This one can sometimes be a little bit thicker, so if you don't like thick moisturizers, I wouldn't go for this one because it is pretty intense, but it is an amazing moisturizer. Not necessarily one that I would repurchase right now. This Dr. Dennis Gross right here, this is the C Plus Collagen. I love this. Um, I've used two to three jars of this as well um, and I wish I could use it more. I feel like whenever I start using this moisturizer my rosacea kind of like comes up a little more very gradually but I do f see the difference where I'm like a little bit redder. I still finished up the whole thing because I love it that much that I don't care about having red skin just because I love the way this feels so much. It is so intensely hydrating without it feeling thick. It has collagen in it. It is beautiful, beautiful moisturizer. It is one of my favorites, except I don't think I'm going to get it anymore because I have to not use things that make my rosacea flare up. But if your skin is not as sensitive as mine, you need to try this. This one is one that I just finished literally like three, four days ago. This is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. It is a night recovery cream. I did enjoy using it. I don't think it's my favorite. The smell kind of throws me off a little bit, even though it doesn't necessarily smell bad. Um, but yeah. And then finally, unless we find another moisturizer in here later, um, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. This is the one ounce size which is $64. This is an absolute favorite and a must-have. So this is the 1.7 jar versus the one ounce. This is 100, this is 64. You get more bang for your buck when you get the big one, but if you just want to try it, I would try the smaller one. The trick to this is to massage it onto the skin because it is a little bit of a thicker cream, but it dissolves really nicely. This makes your makeup look so stunning. This really kind of like changes the way things lay on top of it. So it is the best moisturizer for when you're um, doing your makeup in the morning. I'm pretty obsessed with this. This was in my top 10 products from Charlotte Tilbury video. If you guys want to know more about it, in that video I went very in depth on everything this does. So I recommend that you watch it. I'm back and I have two more moisturizers to talk about. So this one here is the Primera Hydrate and Glow Alpine Berry Water Cream. I really like this one. It was nice. It was lightweight. If you have combination skin, I think this would be a good one for you. And and then this right here, even though I only have a little one of it and I haven't actually purchased the big one just because it's pricey, it is my favorite nighttime cream I've ever used. This is the Genius Sleeping Collagen Night. This feels like butter when you put it on your skin. It makes your skin feel so, so good. It has a ton of collagen. I really like the technology behind Algenis products. So if you're looking for a really intensely hydrating night cream, look no further. This right here is so good. All right, I found another hydrator. This is from Pharmacy. It's called the Honey Grill and it is an ultra hydrating face oil. It feels quite tacky. However, it's like your skin thanks you for it. Um, so even though I don't love the way it applies, I did really enjoy using it. I don't think it's an absolute favorite though. Okay, this is a travel size of the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. This smells a little 
humid. I don't know if that makes sense, but it, it smells humid to me. And I don't know that I saw that much of a difference using this travel size. However, I've heard amazing things about it and it is so expensive. Um, I can't say it's a favorite, but I did enjoy using it. This is another essence. This is the Primera Essence. I'm going to link this essence down below because even though I only used a very small amount of it, I know that this one is not super expensive and I really enjoyed when I used it. I loved when I used it, in fact. Again, I'm trying to go through my products, so once I'm out of essences, the one that I would personally go back and buy would be this one. Let me quickly tell you about this before I start with the serums and the oils. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I really like this. I think it's expensive for what it is. However, I distinctly remember loving using it. I would probably repurchase it at some point. I just hate how much I like it because I feel like it's not worth the price. So, is it a favorite? In its category, I think it is a favorite, so I'll link it down below, but I don't think it's worth it, but I would totally buy it again. <laughs> All right, I've gathered my serums and essences right here that I've used. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I really loved using this one. However, I recently found that Kiehl's is not paraben free, and so I'm not here for it. I found out way too late because I used the whole thing, but yes, I feel like Things shouldn't have parabens anymore. It's 2020, you know? The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, 2%. A little sticky. I liked it. It did work, but a little sticky. Really good for the price, but a little sticky. Drunk Elephant Marula Oil, yes. But not my favorite oil. However, it is a really good one. The Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Oil the best oil you can get for this price definitely a favorite i recommend it if you want rosehip oil look no further this is 100 percent organic rosehip oil and it is so affordable so yes definitely a favorite this right here is the dr dennis girls hyaluronic marine hydration booster i really like this one but i feel like it also makes my rosacea a little crazy i thought it was because it had scent in it but the, i was recently told that it doesn't have scent in it However, it smells delicious, so I don't know. But yes, it kind of makes my sensitivity feel a little itchy. I don't know if that makes sense. If you have sensitive skin, you just know when products are making your skin go a little tingly. I don't know, I've tried other hyaluronic acids that don't make my skin tingly, so I wouldn't purchase this one again. This is the Genius Liquid Collagen serum from Algenist. I love it. It is a favorite. I know that it's over a hundred dollars, but honestly, I don't think there's a serum I like more than this one. It is my favorite. This is my go-to face hero oil. This is a blend of a bunch of different oils and flower extracts. I think if I remember correctly, this is $36, which is not the cheapest but it's not bad at all and i am obsessed with this this is another one of those products that i can't wait to buy again however i'm trying to get through the products that i already have so i don't want to spend money on products that i have and i have other oils that i'm using at the moment but this is a favorite right here so if you've been looking for a good face oil try this one it's not a heavy oil it sinks right into the skin and it gives you the best glow. You can use it daytime. I, I would use this one underneath my makeup all the time and it worked just fine. Try this one, I love it. This is another Dr. Jart cheat mask that I really love. I don't think I love it as much as the blue one, but this one's a really good one too. I didn't even tell you the name. It's called the Ceramiding Facial Mask. I have two bronzers in here. The Physician's Formula one. I kept trying to use what's on the rim, but it just wasn't applying even anymore, so it's time. <laughs> yes, absolutely love it. My favorite drugstore bronzer, 100% hands down, um, and I would repurchase it. And then this one here from Stila. This is the Stila in medium. I believe this is my second bronzer from Stila that I fully empty like this. So obviously I really like it as well. I think you get a lot of product in here as well. I feel like this is not talked about enough. It has a beautiful shade. It works on a lot of different complexions. It is matte, it blends out beautiful. It should be a lot more hype than it is for sure. I love it. 
I have four foundations in here. This one here is the YSL Too Chic La All-in-One Glow. I am the color B30. This is one of my favorite tinted moisturizers. The only one that I've enjoyed more than this one is the new Estee Lauder one, but this is a close second for sure. The Estee Lauder one just I like because it has a little bit of a higher SPF and a teeny tiny bit better coverage but this is a very close second so if you've been eyeing the YSL um, All-in-One Glow I recommend that you try it. Givenchy Tint Couture Long Wearing Fluid Foundation with Sunscreen. It's really good. Not my favorite but it's amazing. Makeup Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD Foundation, also a really good one, medium coverage, natural finish. Even though it's a medium coverage, it's not a high enough medium coverage that I would be obsessed with it. So I like it, but I don't love it. And then this one here is Born This Way Foundation in the shade Porcelain. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations. If you've not tried this yet, please do. It is amazing. And one of my favorite foundations of all time. All right getting to the end of this eye creams this is the rose hydrating eye gel cream I feel like eye cream is one thing that if I don't love it I will discontinue using it and I have two empty ones of this because it is one of my all-time favorite eye creams so I do definitely recommend this one this is the first eye cream that I ever consistently used ever and I've been in love with ever since I'm pretty sure every time I've done a favorites video I've mentioned this eye cream in it uh, because I've used a lot of them <laughs> So if you're in the market for a good hydrating eye cream, that's not heavy under the eyes right here I have three concealers to talk about and they are all my favorite for different reasons. So hear me out I just finished this one here. This is the Lancome Tinted Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer my shade is 090. This is the concealer that I clean around my eyebrows with and this specific tube right here lasted me over a year it lasted forever. I love it because I can place it and it doesn't dry down. So I can like move it around and like fill my eyebrow again and like still have two thick layers of it of it around my brow and then go in and blend it once I'm ready and it blends out like nothing. This is a really good concealer for spot concealing or if you use it for around your brows, you'll love it. I don't love it for underneath my eyes just because for me personally, it's too thick for my under eyes but it is my favorite for around my eyebrows. These two right here are both from YSL. YSL concealers are my favorite. I don't think there is a brand of concealer that I like more than YSL, and it's been like that forever. My number one favorite concealer at the moment is this one right here. This is the Touche Cla High Cover Concealer. I'm wearing it right now. I like it because it has a good enough coverage for me and it still looks radiant and hydrating underneath my eyes. I don't find that it creases much. It's amazing. Before that one, I used to always use my All Hours Concealer from YSL. And if you don't have desert dry skin like me, this may be your favorite one because it is amazing. I really don't have much else to say about it. It's like self-setting, natural finish, full coverage, and thin. I don't like thick concealers for underneath my eyes. Um, so both of the YSL ones are very thin. They get it right in that aspect for me. So all three of them are my favorite. Sorry, not sorry. If I had to go back and repurchase it over and over and over again, I would repurchase the YSL Touche Cla High Cover Concealer over and over again. The All Hours one used to be my favorite before this one came out, so this is my actual favorite. However, if you have combination or oily skin, I think you'll like this one better. Eyebrow Pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is why I stopped using eyebrow pencils. Because you have to get them all the time. Right now I'm just using the brow powder. I wet it with a setting spray. It takes me longer, but I don't have to buy one of these a month. I haven't bought an eyebrow pencil in like five months. Don't get me wrong, I love them, but you have to get them all the time. I'm pretty sure you can tell which one's my favorite. <laughs> So these are the Goof Proof Pencil, the Brow Wiz, the Signature Brow by Kat Von D, the Brow Blade, and the Fenty Beauty one. And these three are the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. 
I like the brow blade and I like the Kat Von D one too. However, I think my favorite has to be the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I really loved it so I kept going back for it because it is more pigmented right away and it's still a very thin line. So Precisely My Brow is definitely my favorite eyebrow pencil. Lastly, let's talk about mascaras and for someone who has a drawer full of full-size mascaras, the fact that I have four little ones here only tells you that all of the empty ones in that drawer I haven't felt like throwing out yet. I haven't gone through them, but I'm pretty sure there's more there that I could toss. Okay, so in here I have Le Volume de Chanel Legendary Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury, which is the one that I currently have on this table that I'm using on a daily basis, just like a bigger tube of it right over here. And then the Shock Mascara by YSL. I honestly love all three of these. I'm like, do I have to pick a favorite? I think my number one favorite would be the Shock by YSL. Different days call for different mascaras, you know? I thought about it. <laughs> for volume, drama, length, everything, I think the Shock by YSL would be my number one favorite. But I love them all. You guys, I did not think we would get through this, but here we are. We've made it. It is an hour later. I've been filming for 56 minutes but we're done. So this is everything that I've been using during the past year and a few months. Biggest empties video ever, I know. I don't know that I'll let them pile like this in the future because this was a lot. I'm going to link all of the products that I really enjoyed using down below in case you guys are interested. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Are any of my favorite products your favorite products as well? I would be very interested to find out if any of my favorites are yours or if you're obsessed with any of the products that I'm like, eh, they're okay. I like them enough to fully use them, but not my favorite. <laughs> okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, please, please. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!